Hello folks, in this Gaffer 56 video, we're gonna cover some of the improvements we've made to area light visualization within the viewer. Uh, the first thing you'll probably notice is by default, we now shade uh, area lights with their color. Uh, and when we say color, we mean effectively either the, the color plug or anything connected into this. So we, we no longer include the effects of intensity or exposure in this shading. Uh, so you can see here we've got some lights with individual color set. If we hook up a shading network to lights that support it, such as this quad light, we have uh, limited support for Arnold shader networks and full support for RSL shader networks. A little more on that at the end of the video. Uh, you might be asking, hang on a minute, why, why is this on its side? What's going on there? It turns out the default Arnold quad light, if you plug an image in, that's, that's actually what you get in your render. So we've tried to match it up there. Uh, let us know if you see any inconsistencies. We've also added this uh, spread visualization that you can kind of see here sticking out the light. As you adjust this, you can see the, uh, the arrows diverge a little more in the middle, just to give you a bit of a representation from a distance as to which ones you've tweaked. And now we appreciate this new shaded mode can often get in the way if you, if you need to be looking at the scene through this, uh, through this light, it's a little bit in your face. Uh, in the viewer global drawing menu, which you can get to clicking on the cube up here, we, we have a new section for lights. Uh, and you can change whether they're textured, uh, just drawn with their color, or in the wireframe mode, which makes it a little easier uh, to see through them. Uh, we've also improved, well, cleaned up the, the standard sort of exposure color widget that you see on all lights. Uh, it now represents the color as well, has been sort of visually simplified uh, and is camera facing, which makes it a bit easier to see at different angles. Uh, it also no longer scales with the light. So you can see as we do this, uh, it doesn't get distorted, which means that it's a bit easier to get a relative sense of distance when you're, when you're looking at these things. If you want to adjust the shaded mode per light, you can do this too. Uh, all lights uh, now have a visualization tab. And if you look inside of here, you'll see we have a bunch of controls. And one of them is this light drawing mode which uh, when turned on allows you to change for any specific light how it's going to appear. So you could go for colored, textured or wireframe. Uh, you can also do this for multiple lights at once if you wish using the OpenGL attributes node. So if we take a little look here, I could grab two of these lights and I could say um, in the visualization section here, you see the same controls. I could say these ones these ones should go back to being uh, textured and you can see underneath there the discs updated too. So that can be quite useful if you have a lot of procedurally generated lights or lights coming in from caches and you want to edit those because you don't have the, the node editor for the lights available uh, directly. So we mentioned earlier in the video we had um, varying support for different network connected to area lights. Uh, so just wanted to talk a little bit more about that. You can see we've got three different ones here. The, the first one uh, is the one you can see up here, which is a quad light with an Arnold image and an Arnold color correct node. Uh, and we do our best to give a bit of a preview of it. Uh, but what you'll notice is though, say for example, in the color correct, some parameters work, uh, others don't. So like if I adjust the gamma, you'll see that the output doesn't change. Uh, let us know if anything particular is missing. We've had to sort of recreate how Arnold works in order to show you this. So let us know. Uh, if you connect other shaders into the network that we don't know about. So for example, this middle light is actually multiplying a checkerboard and then the image together. We know about the multiply, we know about the image, but we, we don't know about the checkerboard. So what we do is we fall back on the uh, the image, the first image that we find that we, that we come across, we'll use that one. Uh, if you'll notice if this happens, if you take a look in your terminal, you should see messages like this that shows you that uh, something hasn't worked in the network. Uh, the last case where you have something that we have absolutely no idea, particularly esoteric Arnold shader, uh, we'll just have to end up falling back and you'll just see white. So if you don't see something looking quite right in the viewer, uh, let us know which nodes you're using if they're Arnold ones and we can try and fix that. Uh, OSL, on the other hand, should work pretty much entirely. The only thing we can't support is the use of P in the shading network. So if you had a noise that you were trying to use that was varying across the, the quad light, we can't support that at the moment. But uh, other than that, all OSL networks should work fully.